line 400 bar to 20 kV multi circuit flame line from Madakatra to Ariko. This is the first multi circuit tower, I think. As per my knowledge, uh, this is the first multi circuit uh, 400 bar to 20 kV tower designed in India. Especially, this is a narrow base tower. So, this tower is now being installed uh, throughout the line from the Madakatra to Ariko. So, let me start the session that topics I am going to cover is first uh, the survey. Survey is the first thing. Survey and tower height design, I will restrict the topics to that much. So, first is the identifying the project, then preliminary route preparation using Google Earth and QGIS, then notification in Gazette, preliminary walkover survey, angle point survey. Then preparation of preliminary survey report with the recommendation of for optimized route. Then route approval, uh, detailed profile survey, and the last tower height design. Okay, let us go one by one. So, for simplicity, I am taking one case study that we have already carried out survey and detailed profile survey and uh, other DPR everything. So, I am taking the project Aliva, Adayar, North Paravur, Kodungalur. Irinyalakuda as a case study. So we are in transcript we call it North South Interlink Package, phase one and phase two. Phase one is uh, Kodungalur Irinyalakuda portion, phase two is Aliva Adaya North Parur Kodungalur portion. So identifying the project means already as per load flow study, we have established that this project is required for the system strengthening. So the project is for establishing connectivity from the upgraded 220 kV substation that is being upgraded. Uh, 220 kV substation Alua and 220 kV substation proposed new substation at Irinyalakuda and then later to connectivity to Kundangolam then to Thiru. Already load flow study system study is conducted then this line will relieve the coastal area of Trishu district from the sole dependency of Madakadra bus. Further Kodungallur, Irinyalakuda, Valapad and Kartur substation will be benefited. Those three studies are already carried out and our job is to do the survey and uh, line design. So we are going for preliminary route identification using Google Earth and QGIS. These things we are doing now in transcript. So uh, as all you know, Kerala new right of way is almost impossible in present situation, almost impossible. So. Aliva, especially in Aliva and North Parur area, new right of is almost impossible in the present scenario. Further, for timely execution and to minimize damage to public and other properties, it is better to go for existing line upgradation. One example is Madakatra Palikata 400 kV line, DC line by PGCL. They upgraded the existing 220 kV single circuit corridor. Then other is Thirinalveli Adaman 400 kV MC line. That is Thirinalveli Adaman uh, single circuit 220 kV feeder right of phase upgraded to multi circuit 400 kV multi circuit by PGCN. Here in KSCB, we were about to complete 90 km 400 by 220 kV MCME connectivity from Madakatra to Ericko by this upgradation within the scheduled period. So there is no right of phase issues, nothing by upgrading. Hence, uh, for this uh, Aliva, Adaya, Paravur, Kodungalur, we decided to utilize the existing right of way as far as possible with multi circuit multi voltage towers. That is, multi circuit multi voltage is for maintaining the 110 kV connectivity between the existing intermediate substations. Existing 110 kV connectivity shall be maintained. So, we are going for multi circuit multi voltage line. So, from Aliva to North Paravur, already 110 kV line exists. Then, already approved route, earlier approved route is from Kodungallur to Irinyalakuda. From Paravur to Kodungallur, at present, no connectivity exists. Hence, we have to go for new right of way from Paravur to Kodungallur. So, Aliva to Paravur, we are using the existing 110 kV right of way. So, no, no issue for that right of way. So, we are having already having that tower schedule, existing tower schedule. So, just we are going for the preliminary new route identification from uh, Kodungallur to North Paravur. So, we, we have carried out the initial route identification in Google Earth. 
why google earth uh, we will go for we will go one by one as all all you are aware uh, that google earth is a simple system so we can share i am just going through the tabs required for that in the search tab you can enter the coordinates northing and easting and you can go to the exact location so hello so, okay no issues no issues go okay okay so before starting the route preparation just create a folder in one tower one tower here and we have added another tower here then again go to add path name power line so you can draw the power line and you, you can make a path and then you save the place save the places in the same tab you will get everything by right clicking add uh, then save the places you uh, you have saved one path from tower one to tower two save as either kml or kmz file this is the save as dialog box then in google earth one option is available you just see the show elevation profile go to the untitled path go show elevation profile you can see the full elevation from this tower one to tower two this i will show you uh, after plotting the route the entire profile from the google earth so these are these are the simple options available in google earth so this is uh, user friendly tabs are available you can do it okay we have started from here and we are just proceeding further just to see we have proceeded along the paddy fields then again we are proceeding through paddy fields here we are paddy fields this is one of the river crossing uh, peria near madavana ferry there is one island so we have uh, given one location at this point 21 and other location inside the island and other crossing at 23 after the island then we are again proceeding then at this point we have to reach here so at this point to avoid this cluster we have find out found out three alternate routes first route identified was this then this route and then this route we have identified three routes then we are still proceeding and we are reaching tap point near paravur substation so we have prepared all the three routes and as per this route shorter shortest routes we are showing the average elevation from the google earth this is before doing the detailed survey we are getting the average profile okay now after this we will go for plotting the uh, this map plotting this google uh, map, uh, route uh, from google earth to original our topo sheet topo sheet actually um, uh, we are uh, actually we are plotting the route in topo sheet for ptcc clearance but in topo sheet actually we are getting more clarity clarity regarding the river everything so i will show you plotting the route in topo sheet how oh, with that we can do using one software so survey of india has started nakshay nakshay one site where you can download all the topo sheets all the topo sheets covering india so this is the kerala topo sheet index kerala topo sheet index. so go to so survey of india naksha.uk.govin.site you can have all the maps so we will go for open series maps only so go to survey of india enter the the map 
where it is coming you take the number from this uh, topo sheet index map then go to survey of india enter the map here map number here then you will get the open series map downloaded as pdf file pdf file this is not a geo referenced file this is only pdf file next step is to geo reference this coordinates these corner coordinates first corner second corner third corner fourth corner we have to geo reference all the four coordinates This is a detailed view of downloaded Mac. So we can see the uh, more details, more details that is available. Now, this map we have got as a PDF file. We have to geo reference the map using one open source software. So that we are using this open source software, QGIS 3.14, that is downloaded free, downloaded free from the uh, site so using this software we can do the geo reference so before that you have to crop this map this pdf map you have to get only this portion only all the four corners only so we have to crop this map for cropping you can use any open source software so we are using one gym software you can use any photo editor software you can use for cropping this map first you crop the map the cropped map will look like this okay this is the window of qg software then you go to qg software put the map here put the map in Q qg software then go to this uh, raster tab and go to geo referencing geo referencing means first we are geo referencing first this corner point this corner point geo reference so you have to first record the coordinates of this for, uh, for all four corner points in degree format you have to note down the all four corner points in degree formats then go to this uh, raster tab then go to geo reference and then add point next geo reference you will get this window then add point add point you enter the coordinates in degree format here you enter the coordinates in degree format here degree format here you have entered the coordinates in degree format here then this is geo reference geo reference for this project we are having the line is going through through two maps two maps you, you have to combine two maps again do the same for the other map so the combined map will look like this this is one map and this is another map so two maps joined then embedding the line root in the map just go to QGIS layer tab this is the layer tab add layer add vector layer vector layer you select your files here we have created two files as a two roots as two files so you, I have selected two files and okay this is the root embedded in topo sheet so the advantage is that you you get the more clarity for the root i will show you you can see this more clarity than the picture received from google earth you will get the boundary correct so this you can use for that uh, ptcc clearance uh, up, for submission to bsnl just see the clarity these are the alternate routes we have provided Now we have reached the Paravur, Paravur tap point. You will see, one minute, you will see the actual location, that crossing point, you can get the name from this, Dharmandur, the correct name from this. So this is the first step in preparing, identifying the route from Google Earth. Till now we have not gone to sites. From computer only we are identifying the route, preliminary route. So any, Shine, any questions regarding this topic? As of now, no questions, sir. Uh, 
ആർക്കെങ്കിലും എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പെട്ടെന്ന് ഒരു രണ്ട് മിനിറ്റിനുള്ളിൽ ഒന്ന് അവസാനിപ്പിക്കണം ഇതുവരെ ചോദിച്ചതിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും അറിയാ ആർക്കെങ്കിലും ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പറയാം ഞാനിപ്പോൾ പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് നമ്മളിപ്പോ എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു നമ്മളിത് എവിടെയും ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവില്ല അത് ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മളിവിടെ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നതാണ് അപ്പൊ ഇപ്പൊ പുതുതായിട്ട് സർവേ ചെയ്യുന്ന ആളുകൾക്കൊക്കെ ഇത് വളരെ യൂസ്ഫുൾ ആയിരിക്കും വിചാരിക്കുന്നു കാരണം ഇത് നമുക്ക് വളരെ ടോപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഷീറ്റിൽ വളരെ കൃത്യമായിട്ട് ഇത് പ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും മറ്റേത് നമുക്ക് സാധാരണ നമ്മള് പി ടി സി സി ഇതിനൊക്കെ embedding once more go to layer add vector layer then select kml files of the root we have uh, one kml file already uh, saved here just see we have saved it in qgis as modified we have geo referenced the uh, all four corners we have uh, combined uh, two maps and uh, it is already saved as modified to to uh, modified two roots it is saved as modified two maps it is saved as modified then you go to uh, layer layer tab add vector layer select the kml file go to this layer tab add layer add vector layer select the two files two roots two roots that is our kml file earlier kml file two roots or you can drag the kml file from the uh, folder to directly to this just a drag and drop just you draw drag and drop the files for copying and pasting means just you can drag the kml file right away from the folder to the, the this map to this map instead of this you can just drag the kml files whatever kml files you want just you can drag and drop okay sir yeah. yes okay, okay sir okay the line root embedded in open series maps gives a very clear picture of geographical information than that is received from google map with this map we can further go for fine tuning the route then before with this map we with and with this coordinates we are going for the in, uh, preliminary walk over survey so before this walk over survey we have to got the line notified through uh, kerala gazette so based on the gazette notification the commencement of the survey shall be intimated to the public through local daily wide publicity shall be given then start the walk over survey with the gps equipment along with the prepared with this kml file exported to the gps equipment we can start walking along the uh, identified route without any without much deviation you can start walking along the route already identified route yes during walk over survey again you can change the alignment as per site something here one alignment change i have mentioned that is the towers available are maximum angle is 60 degree so you have to limit the deviation below 60 degree it may 59 degree so you have to again fine tune the angle points such that the uh, angle should not exceed 60 degree at any point okay then this is you have started the you have completed the walk over survey you have uh, fine tuned the angle points and everything then you prepare the preliminary survey report preliminary survey report that uh, first uh, it should cover the root alignment survey using plus or minus 3 meter uh, accurate uh, handheld gps then optimization of locations using computer aided techniques preparation of major the preliminary survey report should incorporate all these details preparation of major crossing details like power line crossing railway crossing nh crossing river crossing then tentative tower locations with the standard span there are standard spans for different voltage levels so you uh, you can just prepare tentative tower schedules with the standard uh, uh, span so you will be able to uh, compute how uh, the number of locations within the span within the route okay then details of access to all locations then details of access to all location that is very important so before starting the work uh, you should be able to identify whether each locations are uh, accessible or not otherwise you have to give the provisions in the estimate for separate access road 
then details of availability of materials for construction within 5 km if it is available or otherwise uh, uh, above 10 km if it is available so you have to give the provision for that additional conveyance and the estimate so it should cover the availability of materials for construction then details of availability of storage space for materials for construction this this is also important in the new transmission line data we have provided one uh, pro we have pro given one provision for storage space within 40 kilometers uh, 50 cents of lands we can provide and we can give and its rent is provided in the estimate that so we can give the provision in the estimate so we have to identify the available storage space for materials for construction then you present the route in topo sheet and soft copy KML file and also with the recommendation for the most feasible route that you have to give the recommendation as per the tentative oh, no, no, no. and the cost yes sir continue yes. continue oh, sorry sorry, sorry, sorry. you have to recommend the most feasible route as per the uh, tentative tower schedule and the uh, access locations uh, access roads uh, access to locations everything and uh, approximately costing you have to provide that this is the most optimal route even if the uh, so the second route is uh, suppose one to two kilometer more than the uh, optimized route and it is uh, you are having access to all locations and it is easier to construct means you have to uh, recommend the uh, second route even the cost is on the higher side then you have to submit the uh, route uh, this uh, route approval this uh, preliminary uh, report to the concerned authority the concerned authority for the ehd lines will be chief engineer after the approval only you have to start the detailed professor Google Earth to the top of the team, but our Gunam and the Varna number title Poga that and almost optimize the turn of Chino. Title or a party with the Prussian number optimize and Pundurum out of the personal Adirichu Dikim, and then I'm going to keep Puam at the Tostu. About the old E method of Parama, this trainer the two number angle point to Parama, the crowded location, some dense cross trough houses and the Moriwaki, Google, the Chi, the top of the team, Chi, the Puanchal. We have to successfully implemented for this North Parvur, Kodamalur area. We have successfully implemented because this is out, either work was outsourced with one experienced survey team from Calcutta. And they have carried out the route, preliminary route preparation like this only. So, then we start the detailed profile survey. After route approval, we will start the detailed profile survey. Using total station, now it is done by total station and other DGPS equipments. The profile, if you have to take the profile at 20 meter intervals along the central line of the approved route. At 20 meter interval. Then all the details within the corridor requirement that is right of way, ROW of the proposal line is to be recorded. In this case, now we are here doing the 220 and 110 kV, 220 bar 110 kV MCMV line. So right of way for 220 kV here is 35 meters. So you have to get the details within the corridor, all the buildings, uh, crossings, LT crossings, CHT crossings, etc. All the height and uh, location you have to take. The height of all obstructions EHT, HT, LT lines within the corridor to be recorded invariably at EHT crossing point. Suppose one another 110 kV line is crossing, means you have to take the profile of the crossing lines. You have to get the profile of uh, two towers on either side of the crossing point. In paddy field river crossing locations, you have to mark, mark the highest flood level. Then at railway crossing locations, all the required details, all the structure heights uh, rail, uh, you have to take for submission to railway authorities. Then, if the route uh, line is going through uh, slopy terrains, slopy terrains, uh, and the tower tentative tower locations are coming on the slopy terrain, you have to take the detailed contour of the tower locations. This is for proposing the revetment. Now, the idea is that the 
പിന്നീട് നമ്മൾ ഡി പി ആറിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ എസ്റ്റിമേറ്റ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുമ്പോൾ ഈ ഇതൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ അപ്രോക്സിമേറ്റ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഉണ്ടാക്കും അത് പിന്നീട് അത് നമ്മുടെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്ന് എസ്റ്റിമേറ്റ് ഡിവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ സാധ്യതയുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് നമ്മൾ പ്രത്യേകം ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുക സ്ലോപ്പി ലൊക്കേഷൻസിൽ നമ്മൾ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരും ടവർ ടവർ ഫുഡിന്റെ ടവർ ഫുഡ് പ്രിന്റിന്റെ മാക്സിമം ടവർ ഫുഡ് പ്രിന്റ് അക്കോമഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്യണ സ്പേസിന്റെ മാക്സിമം കൊണ്ടുവരും നമ്മൾ എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ റിവർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഇൻ എസ്റ്റിമേറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഫുഡ് ആക്ച്വൽ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ദൻ പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ പ്രൊഫൈൽ ഇൻ ഓട്ടോ കെയർ നോർമലി ഈ ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ സർവേ ടീം ഒക്കെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓട്ടോ കെയറിലാണ് പ്രൊഫൈൽ അവർ ഓട്ടോ കെയറിലേക്ക് എക്സ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യും പിന്നെ അവർ പി എൽ എസ് കാർഡ് സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ടാണ് ഫർദർ ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് ചെയ്തു അപ്പൊ നമുക്കിവിടെ സപ്പോസ് പി എൽ എസ് കാർഡ് നമ്മളതിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് അവൈലബിൾ പി എൽ എസ് കാർഡ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ ഡു ദ ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് ആൻഡ് എവറിങ് യൂസിങ് ഓട്ടോ കെയർ വി ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ഇൻ ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ടവർ ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് യൂസിങ് ഓട്ടോ കെയർ ഓൾറെഡി എൽ ആൻ ടി പീപ്പിൾ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് യൂസിങ് ഓട്ടോ കെയർ ദ ആർ നോട്ട് യൂസിങ് പി എൽ എസ് കെ നൗ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് ഐ ആൻ ഇന്നത്തെ ഇതിൽ ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് കവേഡ് സോ ഓൺലി ടവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ് വി ആർ ടു ഫിക്സ് ദ ടവർ ഹൈറ്റ് ആസ് പെർ ദ കണ്ടക്ടർ പരാമീറ്റർ വി ആർ ടു ഫിക്സ് ദ ടവർ ഹൈറ്റ് ഇത് പുതിയ ഒരു ലൈൻ ആണ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് പുതിയ ഒരു ലൈൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മൾ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസൈൻ ന്യൂ ടവർ ന്യൂ ടവർ എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് നമ്മളതിൽ അവൈലബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള വൺ ടെൻ കെ വിയോ ടു ട്വന്റി കെ വിയോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ടു ട്വന്റി ബാർ ടു ട്വന്റി മൾട്ടി സർക്യൂട്ട് നമ്മളതിൽ ഇപ്പൊ അവൈലബിൾ അല്ല ടു ട്വന്റി ബാർ വൺ ടെൻ കെ വി മൾട്ടി സർക്യൂട്ട് ഈ ടവർ ഇത് ഈ ലൈൻ സർവേ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ അവൈലബിൾ അല്ല നമ്മളതിൽ ടു ട്വന്റി ബാർ ടു ട്വന്റി ആണ് അവൈലബിൾ ബട്ട് ഇയർ നമ്മൾ ഒപ്റ്റിമൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി ടു ട്വന്റി ബാർ വൺ ടെൻ കെ വി ടവർ തന്നെ ഡിസൈൻ ചെയ്യാനാണ് പോകുന്നത് സോ അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ പുതിയ ടവർ ആണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ അതിനുള്ള കുറച്ച് പരാമീറ്റർ നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം തന്നെ ടവറിന്റെ ഹൈറ്റ് ആദ്യം ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യണം ടവറിന്റെ ഹൈറ്റ് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്താലാണ് നമുക്ക് ടവർ സ്പോട്ടിങ്ങിലേക്ക് പോകാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ സോ ടവറിന്റെ ഹൈറ്റ് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ നോർമൽ കുറച്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം അത് ആസ് പെർ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ്സ് നോർമൽ ഡിസൈൻ സ്പാൻ മിൻ സ്പാൻ ടവർ ഹൈറ്റ് വെയ്റ്റ് സ്പാൻ ആൻഡ് സം ഓഫ് ദി അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് ഈ ഇന്നത്തെ ഇതിലെ ടോപ്പിക്കിൽ നൗ ഐ ആം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഓൺലി ഫോർ ദിസ് ടവർ ഹൈറ്റ് സോ ദിസ് ടവർ ഹൈറ്റ് ബേസിക്കലി ഡിപ്പെൻഡ്സ് ഓൺ ദി നോർമൽ ഡിസൈൻ സ്പാൻ ആസ് പെർ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ്സ് ടു ഫോർ ടു ട്വന്റി കെ വി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ത്രീ ഫിഫ്റ്റി വൺ തേർട്ടി ടു കെ വി ആൻഡ് വൺ ടെൻ കെ വി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ത്രീ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് സോ വി ആർ ഡു നൗ യൂസിങ് ദ എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് റൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ സോ വി വിൽ ഗോ ഫോർ ദ സ്പാൻ ഫോർ ത്രീ വൺ ടെൻ കെ വി ഫോർ എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് റൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ വി കൻ നോട്ട് ചേഞ്ച് ദ ടവർ ലൊക്കേഷൻസ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ആംഗിൾ പോയിന്റ്സ് വി കൻ നോട്ട് ചേഞ്ച് ദ ടവർ ലൊക്കേഷൻ സോ വി വിൽ ഗോ ഫോർ ദിസ് ത്രീ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് സ്പാൻ ത്രീ ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് സ്പാൻ ഫോർ ദ ടവർ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് ടവർ ഹൈ ഡിസൈൻ all cross and level height of the cross and level to be fixed before going for tower spotting so first is the height of bottom cross height of bottom cross means ground clearance plus maximum sag at continuous operating temperature plus sag error plus sag error this is the uh, uh, formula for calculating the bottom cross arm height that is ground clearance what is the ground clearance as per standard ground clearance is now our bottom circuit is 110 bar 125 or 132 bar 145 so the ground clearance should be 6.1 meter then maximum sag at a maximum continuous operating temperature what is that that is depending upon the conductor so here we are we are going for a new tower structure so we are free to choose the conductor accordingly so uh, for this line already we have chosen ACSR Panther conductor as this is usually employed all over India for 110 bar 132 AV system and it can carry approximately that is 420 ampere at 85 degrees centigrade. That is to, nowadays ACSR conductor operating at 85 degrees centigrade is available. Panther and Wolf are also available at 85 degrees centigrade. So, we have to find out the sag at 85 degree centigrade for panther conductor how to find out this sag that is this is the most important thing in this uh, tower spotting to find out the sag at 85 degree centigrade that is sag tension calculation ningalkku ellavarkku ariyam s
SAG tension calculation predicts the behavior of the conductors based on the recommended tension limits under varying conditions. This is the important. What are the tension limit under varying weather conditions? As per IS 802, recommended tension limits under everyday temperature nil wind condition and everyday temperature full wind condition are 22 bar 25 percentage, 50 bar 70 percentage. This 22 percentage is four lines 400 kV and above and this 25 percentage is up to 400 kV, up to 400 kV that is excluding 400 kV. This 22 and 25 percentage is the initial tension we are giving during the stringing. That is the everyday temperature nil wind condition that is 32 degrees centigrade you are taking that everyday temperature everyday temperature so 32 degrees centigrade nil wind condition we are giving the tension 22 percentage for 400 kV lines and 25 percentage for lines up to 400 kV and the limiting tension under everyday temperature full wind condition with this tension initially given the tension at everyday temperature full wind condition shall not exceed 50 percentage for 400 kV lines, 70 percentage for lines up to 400 kV. This is 50 percentage of ultimate tensile strength of the conductor. This is the most important. So we will start the calculation from the initial condition that is 22. Here 220 kV lines. So we will start the calculation with the 25 percentage of the UTS. 25 percentage of the UTS for Panther conductor. And we have to uh, determine the uh, uh, tension at a everyday temperature full wind condition and it should not exceed 70%. We have to check that. So if we fix the uh, tension 25 percentage and if uh, with, with regard to your span and the wind condition, if it is exceeding above 70 percent, it means you have to just reduce the tension. You go to 22 percentage for the 220 kV, then it will be reduced to uh, 68 and below 70. You have to adjust like that. So here, for calculating this, we have uh, developed one spreadsheet application in Excel with the help of uh, MTech students who have done one uh, uh, tower design project with the help of transcript engineers. So if required, I can share the Excel spreadsheet. This is the Excel spreadsheet for computing the SAC tension calculation with all wind conditions. You can arrive the tension at every weather conditions and the temperature. You input the temperature, you input the wind pressure, everything. You can get the tension at that temperature. And you can also calculate. You input the parameter in the yellow cells, yellow colored cells. You will get this is the this uh, spreadsheet is the solution of a cubic equation using Cardano's method. And with this tension, so with the 25 percentage, uh, what is our purpose? We have to find the sag at 85 degrees centigrade. So 32 degrees centigrade nil wheel condition, we are having the UTS uh, uh, 25 percentage. With that UTS 25 percentage, with the help of the Excel sheet, we have found out the tension at 85 degrees centigrade. Here, one example I have shown 75 degrees centigrade. This is a 32 degree nil wheel condition, 25 percentage tension is 2285. Then 75 degrees centigrade, it is 1791. And SAG at 32 degrees centigrade is 5.99. And SAG at uh, 75 degrees centigrade is 7.64 actually this uh, 7.64 is 85 degree only this is there is a mistake in this slide okay mm. then with this uh, tension and uh, different spans that is a uh, uh, simple formula for parabola is uh, wl square by 80 the original formula for uh, catenary is this one with this with the help of Excel sheet, we can we can find out the find out the sags at different spans 20, 40, 60, 80. This is for plotting the sag template. So from minus 500 to plus 500, with the help of Excel sheet, we have plotted the different sags, and we have plotted the sag template for Panther conductor. So for plotting this uh, sag template. You have to 
find out the tension so you can you can with this with the help of this excel sheet you can plot the uh, sag sag curve at any temperature for any wind conditions so with this with the help of this sag template only we are going for this uh, tower spotting so shine is it clear yes sir. yes yes, yes. Uh, uh, no questions asked by anyone okay anything any issues uh, or any questions I think it's it's all right, sir. Because everybody. It's all right. Knows. This. I am saying that this paranya carrying all are important. That is, we have to put a line. See, I am going to go. Because we have already put you see the one that we have existing sack template car on the side. Already acrylic sheet. We have sack template car on the side. That is why we are doing this. Now, we are going to do something different. That is, 75 degree under the sack under 32 degree sack under cold sack under. We are going to do something very simple. Suppose. If you are going for a line with a new conductor other than wolf or panther, and you you are selecting one conductor, triple AC conductor or AL fifty nine conductor, then the act template is not available. अपन नमले इंतज़ाम चीप न तो लाना हाँ समय तारा नम कुदा आवश्यक है अलग ही नम कुदा आवश्यक है लिया नमले तो चिंदी क्या रोल है अपन नमले नम कुदा नहीं सोयम इधर टा ऐसा एक टेम्पलेट प्रिपेयर है विद दिस हेल्प ऑफ़ द एक्सेल शीट ओके This sag template we have prepared this sag template and we have calculated the sag 85 degree for panther conductor for a design span of 325 meter as 7.63. Then as far as yes sag error the earlier formula sag error is 150 mm 0.15 meter. Hence the bottom crossing height is ground clearance plus maximum sag plus 0.15 that is 13.18 that is the ground clearance. Now you take the case of suspension tower. Suspension tower there will be suspension insulator. So for suspension tower, the crossing height should be increased by that. Conductor should be at this level only. That is 13.18. So above that the insulator should be. So height of the insulator and assembly for 1 ton kV. Bottom circuit is 1 ton kV. It is 1.6. So 13.88 plus 15 point. 13.88 uh, plus 1.6. It is 15.6. This is the bottom crossing height. So we have reached the bottom crossing height for the tower. Now, how you will determine the shape? Shape means the width width of the crossing. How you will determine the width of the crossing and from the spacing between this bottom crossing and middle crossing. That is bottom crossing and middle crossing for suspension tower. How you will determine? There is one standard for that. This is determined. Is it determined by the metallic clearance and the insulator height? That is insulator string height plus metallic clearance at maximum single angles for suspension towers. Uh, suspend the kadakumbo as per the wind wind condition. The suspension tower under uh, insulator sing inside like a singing tower under was take a singing tower under was take a singing by conductor mother upon singing team. Apol conductor um tower anda body um tayar la cross ambun da mula la metallic clearance se wide itu yang berde. Apo over particular angle of singin um, over particular clearance berde. Just take the example of one ton ba one ton kv line. Zero degree sing it is one point three five. Then suppose the suspension insulator thing is singing inside to uh, by fifteen degree, it should be only one point two two. Suppose it is singing. Under heavy wind condition, 60 degree means it is only 9.95915 required. This is for I suspension string string for suspension towers. Now you go for the tension towers. There is no I suspension, only pilot jumper insulator will be there. Pilot suspension insulator will be there for jumper. For that, another standard is there. Only 0, 20 degree, 0, it is. Uh, 0.22 and 20 degree it is 0.915 these two criteria you have, you have to meet for suspension tower and tension tower so we will draw the arcs corresponding to the clearance this is suspension insulator string this is insulator string assembly hanging hardware zero single we will draw Zero single, we will draw 1.35 arc. 
radius. 1.35 radius will be arc. At that time, this is the cross arm in the sloping portion. This is the same thing. This is the corresponding thing. Now, maximum thing is 60 degrees. 60 degrees is the you draw the arc corresponding to this. At that time, this is just without touching it should go. Apa asam itu e clearan sengatum, e sloping clearan sengatum, ella clearan sengatum. Adanya ni sericu, nama kita spacing between bottom crossam and middle crossam ada dia. In the similar way, middle crossam and the top crossam of bottom circuit, one ton gauge, bottom circuit. Kita lari lagi. Adanya ni selesam. After that, then spacing between the two circuits. Now we have reached the top conductor of one ton gauge, bottom circuit. Then the clearance between top conductor of 1 ton kV and bottom conductor of 2 ton kV. Then what is the standard? Between inter circuit between two circuits, 220 and 1 ton kV circuit, the inter circuit clearance shall be 4.58 meter. So we have to maintain the 4.58 between this uh, uh, top conductor of 1 ton kV and bottom conductor of 2 ton kV. Another criteria is we have to take the condition of cold sag of uh, top conductor of 1 ton kV and hot sag of uh, bottom conductor of 2 ton kV. This is the very important criteria. So, in the middle of the 2 ton kV circuit, the bottom circuit, the maximum current and maximum temperature, it will sag maximum. There is no load, nothing. So, it will be under cold condition. So, it will be under cold sag. Cold sag means we are minimum temperature. Otherwise, say, 32 degrees centigrade. Nil wind minimum temperature. Alangkah lebih rendah temperature, 32 degree centigrade ni, pukul tu. Mungkin lebih lama tu, kalau orang kurang dalam, tanah tu lain ni lebih tinggi, lebih lama dia, dead down tu jari kya. Apo, adat am milih cold sag. Mungkin standard ni pernah ni, for multi circuit, multi voltage lines, this sag difference shall be accounted for determining the inter circuit clearance. Apa hot sag of bottom conductor, 220 kV conductor, minus cold sag of 1 ton kV top conductor plus inter circuit clearance. Apa itu itu peculiarity, nama kita kanan betul. Ini dalam ini ini itu peculiar situation, nama kita serikat encounter itu. Naa naa orang orang baru ini turun itu kevi, mana kat sana record line design itu outsourcing itu turun consultancy anda design itu. Apa awal itu dapat normally for higher voltage conductor will be size more air kim, lower voltage conductor size kurang air. Normally, nama kita itu ini four hundred kini the most conductor, one ten lebih kini the panther and Wolf conductor. So, Panther conductor and Wolf conductor compared to Moose conductor, sag will be very, very less and weight will be very, very less. So, what are the sag over the way? But in normal condition, without going for the hot sag, we will go to the other side of the conductor may breach the inter circuit clearance with the bottom conductor. Sag difference will be there. But this is the first thing. So, we have to find out the hot sag of 220 kV bottom conductor. So, here we have to select the conductor of the top conductor and the third conductor we have not selected. We have to select the top conductor as per the sag difference and voltage. So, cold sag of 1 ton kV top conductor is only 4.83. Normally, we have to use the ACSR Kunda conductor. Kunda conductor is hot sag 9.63. Panther conductor is cold sag 4.83. That is the first thing. Kunda conductor in normal condition le, saya guna ok ya, tanah panandar conductor itu ada orang tu pun 4325 kg, 325 meter span. So we have to first lift the sag difference, then he we have to give the 4.83 clearance. So 4.83 plus this sag difference, it will come. Nine point five meter, five four meter inter circuit clearance from the top conductor of one ton kV and the bottom conductor of two ton kV inter circuit clearance nine point five meter. Wave. This is for three twenty five meter span. Another peculiarity is suppose we have all one line le elevated terrain soon undulated terrain soon. Then about three twenty five meter le throughout span main day. This is one of below three twenty five meter le throughout span. So hilly terrain le, na na, mula line change na nature. Plain terrain le, there is no issue. Hilly terrain le, na change na nature. Even one peak to peak, the span may go beyond five hundred meter. Normally, apo five hundred meter le, umba you have to check the inter circuit clearance for that five hundred meter span. 
and above 500 meters then. Apa nama kita? Orang lain cie itu cie yang boleh tanya nama kita. Madilah. Orang span itu nama kita. Orang ini adalah terang ini adalah span itu nama kita. Suppose it is going through one valley. Valley means 700 meter area. Alangkah itu take it as 500 meter. So you have to ensure the 4.58 meter clearance set it 500. So here we have got the for normal span. Normal span we have got 9.54. Now you go for just to calculate the in the circuit clearance for 500 meter. It is coming to be 12.52 meter. Apa 500 meters span le we have to give extension in between. Not body extension. A cage extension we have to give. That is not at all possible. Cage extension na ganon which we have to go for. So a portion like you have to na we have to put the tower to change into it. Abade ane na we have to go for which letter na more lata conductor na we choose here. Depending upon the compromise on intercircuit clearance. Other cherry or accentuate which number of iteration where you can't do it. Pala combinations no key, or you put the trend combinations either work out in the key. Either trend combinations or combination work out in such a motan tower and high turn away is the bottom. I'll put on the umbatun, 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 umbat ACSR tin panther, single panther with the intercircular clearance almost under optimized condition. Normal ACSR conductor with settler or optimized configuration 7695. Intercircular clearance 48 meter height ticket to the intercircular. This is the iron meter span under the workout. This is the iron meter. This is the wire 18. This condition is the conductor 21 percentage and the conductor 25 percentage tension. This condition is the condition similar to the Apol, nama kita itu. Ia anggane with this, nama kita tin pander, single pander. Apa almost itu dalam tu mana sila, untuk almost same conductor, ubi yaki ane gel. I, uru tension, tension le uru teriaya variation cedih garis. Nama kita i, itu maintain siapa tu? Itu actually encounter itu problem ane. Karena nama kita already pernah multi circuit X Y Z tower le i problem. Amlo workout itu dulu ni kerja, pasal 400 bar 220 kV circuit ini dia tower design cahim board. Actually, that consultancy team encountered the first difficulty in the initial stage. Difficult, karena mukal itu takkan doctor always going below the top conductor of bottom circuit. Apa dah ni, nana awirin pini ada various options ini conductor conductor ada various options itu try jadi. Apa ini tu, satu basic, dengan warna A2 light tu and saya guna warna conductor ini dalam mukal ini. And saya juga dia kan tak terlalu itu tar. Apabila kami kau option yang dua orang jadi, one ton kami mau lagi, kau dua ton kami tar tadi mau dia. Kerana apabila kita perasan dua ton kami ni ground clearance seven point one. Apa lagi tower height will increase. Right of a, kau cuma ini building sini clearance sokak kau dah lebih ram. Apa tower support ini again extension will go. Kau dia kau dah kau dah extension ni. Apa ini orang normal practice always. Kurang voltage la, highest voltage on the upper circuit la, udah sikit. Apa anggana mau kumpul, we have to go for. Apa ibadat? Panther panther configuration la, workout itu. Apa panther we cannot use for 220 kV because under diameter is only 21. Minimum diameter is 25 yang ni, mana 220 kV ni, ubi agni. So we have gone for tin panther configuration. Apa itu luar advantage la, tin panther ampera, mana megawatt capacity, enur ampera proji, enur tin ampera ampera proji. So it is above 300 megawatt per circuit. Then uh, effective resistance kori, so low so kori. Mana tu korang cakap anda jadi kiti and inter circuit clearance 7.5 meter. Nah, tu kiti 7.6 ana that is 4000 meters span. Then this is 7.5 meter. That is, kami kata 1000 meters span agaklu beri ni le. Atau untuk 7.5 meter le, we have done the compromise. This is the 7.5 meter inter circuit clearance. Then for 220 kV towers, we have used the V-string arrangement to arrest the swing. Now, we have used the swing arrangement to arrest the V-string configuration. This is the same thing. We have used the similar method we have to find out the space in between 220 kV middle and bottom, 220 kV middle and top cross arms. Then also earth wire, OPGW peak. Earth wire 
ഹൈറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഡിറ്റർമിൻ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദി ഷീൽഡിംഗ് ആംഗിൾ ഷീൽഡിംഗ് ആംഗിൾ അതിനനുസരിച്ച് ഹൈറ്റ് കൂട്ടുകയോ കുറയ്ക്കുകയോ ചെയ്യാം ട്വന്റി ഫൈവ് ടു തേർട്ടി ഡിഗ്രി ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് കെ വി ട്വന്റി ഡിഗ്രി ദൻ മിഡ് സ്പാൻ ക്ലിയറൻസ് എയ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ഡിഗ്രി ഐ വിൽ ഷോ യു ദിസ് വൺ ഈ ഷീൽഡിംഗ് ആംഗിൾ ഇവിടുന്ന് യു ഡ്രോ എ ലൈൻ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഈ കണ്ടക്ടർ ഷുഡ് ബി വിത്തിൻ ദാറ്റ് ഷീൽഡിംഗ് ആംഗിൾ ദൻ എയ്റ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് മിഡ് സ്പാൻ ക്ലിയറൻസിലും അനുസരിച്ച് പീക്കിന്റെ ഹൈറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഡിസൈൻ This is the tower that we have just shown the tower. This is the KL series tower, suspension tower. This is the bottom circuit, 1 ton KV, and this is a top circuit. This cross arm is slightly bigger because of V-string arrangement. Here there is no more string. This is a tension tower, B-type tower. This is A-type tower, KLA. We have named it as KLA. This is KLB. That is 15 degree, 2 to 15 degree tower. This is KLB. this is the tin pounder here and this is the kld tower we are having one more tower klc we are designed 0 degree 0 to 2 degree 2 to 15 degree 15 to 30 degree that is called klc this is the kld tower this is terminal tower so shine okay for today yes sir thank you thank you thank you that's great because uh, today um, we have couple of questions and we have to wind up at 8:30 exactly so okay uh, due to some constraints uh, because uh, totally okay. we came to know about the constraint uh, appa sir uh, best parade irun and one two uh-huh. questions quickly parayam uh, yes yes go ahead adu one a excel sheet la korchu parameter discuss cheyanirunnu adu yes yes any pa samayam kittonu enikku thonnilla adutha njan john sir i can share the excel sheet i can share the excel sheet no problem uh, sunil sir aanu chochi sunil sir aanu chochi appa sunil sir na kodukkan pattunnu nenu ാണ് <laughs> 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 ാണ് <laughs> 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 പറയാവുന്ന രീതിയില് ഒരു രണ്ടോ മൂന്നോ സെഷൻ വേണ്ടി വരുന്ന ഏതായാലും ഒരു ഗ്രേറ്റ് സെഷൻ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ദ കമ്മിങ് ആൻഡ് ഷെയറിംഗ് യുവർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് താങ്ക് യു സാറെ ബിഗ് താങ്ക്സ് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഇത്ര നേരം ഞങ്ങൾ ശ്രമിച്ചതിനും എക്സലന്റ് പ്രസന്റേഷൻ ബൈ സുരേഷ് സാർ സുരേഷ് സാറിന് എന്റെ ഭാഗത്തു നിന്നും ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് കാണുന്നത് ഈ വീഡിയോ എല്ലാം റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് വിൽ ബി ഇതെല്ലാം യൂട്യൂബ് വഴി നമ്മൾ കാണിച്ചു തരാം വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കോട്ടു കാരണം അത് കട്ടാവുന്നുണ്ടോ നോക്കിയാൽ മതി ഏ സാറേ കേട്ടില്ല ഇല്ല പ്രസന്റേഷൻ കട്ടാവുന്നുണ്ടോ നോക്ക് ടൈം കൺസ്ട്രൈൻഡ് ആണോ ആ ഞാൻ നോക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ടാ നോക്കുന്നുണ്ട് 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 വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കിയാൽ അറിയാം ആ നോക്കാം 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 കാരണം ഇപ്പം ഇന്ന് ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് അങ്ങനെ മെസ്സേജ് കണ്ടത് പുറത്തേക്ക് 
അത് ഇവിടെയും പോയി ഇവിടെ ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് പോയില്ല സാറേ ഒരു ഒറ്റ ബ്രേക്ക് വന്നു എനിക്ക് ജസ്റ്റ് ഒരു രണ്ടും രണ്ട് ഒരു ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് അപ്പോഴേക്കും വീണ്ടും ജോയിൻ ചെയ്തു കുഴപ്പമില്ലാന്ന് തോന്നുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ നിക്കുന്ന എനിക്ക് എനിക്ക് വിശ്വാസമില്ല കാരണം ഇവന്മാർ ആദ